All right, let's get a trader's perspective as we enter the final 15 minutes of trading for this week. Rob Stein is Managing Director of Aster Asset Management. He joins us live from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Uh, Rob, let me get your take on, you know, it's been a, a, extremely volatile. There's been a lot of volume, but uh, we've made gains for the week. If we don't drop uh, significantly here, we're still up right now on the S&P. Uh, do you think that the future looks brighter? I do, um, brighter, but I wouldn't say as bright as it could get. The economy still has some challenges ahead. Valuation and stock market performance has definitely gotten way ahead of how bad I think it is out there. And we might revert back to a more normalized pricing pattern, but certainly not a bull market. How, how much of an effect are you expecting from the options expiry in the last, I guess we've got 15 minutes left in trading here? I think volume will spike up, but uh, I don't think you'll see movement like we've seen in the last 20, 30 minutes, uh, the previous days and, and last Friday. I think we, the S&P moved like 40 or 50 points in the last 30 minutes. Uh, the big move will probably happen on Monday from this, so I, I think today's kind of in the books already. Uh, and, and we'll see what happens after uh, option expiration on, on Monday. I'm expecting a, a drift towards the middle part of the range uh, between now and the end of the month, so higher prices from here. Does all, I mean, are all eyes now shifting to earnings now that we uh, seem to have dealt with as much as, I guess, Treasury and the Fed can as far as presenting plans, the uh, credit crisis? Do you start looking at corporate America now as far as its uh, performance? I guess, but you can't put much into a current earnings report because you can see what's coming down the road and, and have not not have very good guidance. So uh, I, I think it's it's sort of lick your wounds, uh, take the defense hat off, and, and look for things that, even though their earnings might not be as visible as they as you thought they would be, uh, have good, solid business models what, and what no that, debt. What does that mean? Are you still respecting, expecting sort of delayed reaction in earnings reports, you know, fourth quarter earnings getting hit hard by, say, the, the fall of Lehman, hedge fund redemptions continuing because of the fall of Lehman? Are we going to still see this going out the next few months? Yes, but I think the stock price is reflected already. So bad earnings reports and a stock price that could be down 20 or 30 percent, you, you sort of say, yeah, well, we were looking for that, and that's what we got. You know, let's see how far ahead we could. It's not the earnings that's going to matter. It's the visibility of earnings uh, in, in the months and quarters ahead. And quite frankly, I, I think it's, uh, people are overly pessimistic. All right. Hey, Rob, thanks very much. You have a fantastic weekend. Rob Stein there coming to us thanks, from Matt. the CME.